everybody, welcome to another Christmas Cricut Craft Tutorial. Before we get started, if you like crafts, this is a channel for you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking on that big red box and make sure you hit the bell icon because that will tell you when I post a new video. Today we're going to make these really cute Santa cams. Um, these are from Amazon and they are just fake cameras. So this one's obviously already done and the batteries are in. These take a double A, two double A batteries right here in the bottom for the blinking red light. You can get a pack of four of these for about $15.99 and they're really, really fun and really easy to work with. Before we start, I always measure my project and see about how big I can make my words and things. So we're going to make sure that we measure this base to see about how deep it is, and it's a little over half an inch. And then I like to measure just here in front of the camera so that I can kind of get an idea of how big I can make my words and be able to see them. I always find a measuring tape for this type of stuff that's rounded to work much better than a ruler. You can get a measuring tape from the dollar store, so they're not hard to find. Let's go over to Design Space, and I'm going to show you guys how we can make the words, and I'll show you how you can resize them. To start designing, we're going to go ahead and just enter our text, and the bottom is going to say, Property of the North Pole. And we're going to change our font. This is kind of boring and bleh. So we can do something way more fun with this. But remember, we needed to measure because we need to know how tall our letters can be. And they can only probably be about half an inch. So you got to make sure to take that into consideration when you are making this about how tall they're going to be. So I'm going to go into my system fonts and we're going to find just something kind of fun. And um, one of my favorites for these kinds of projects is called, I believe, Black Butter. And it just, it's a fun, cute font. It looks really cool. I just really like it. So we're going to size it down so that it will fit. So remember I said we got about half an inch. So we're going to size it down to about a little under half an inch. So it's going to be about five inches, which should be perfectly fine. So this is going to be our property of the North Pole. And this isn't going to stay black. I'm going to make it white, but I like to keep it black on here. And then we're going to do uh, Santa and um, camera. So those are going to be right on the top of our Santa camera. And for that, I'm going to use a different font. Um, this one, honestly, this is all just a matter of like your guys' personal preference and how you want your um, design to look. You can do pretty much however you want. Comic Sans is always kind of a fun one. I know it's like a go-to font for like everything. Um, but that one's kind of cutesy and I like it. It's pretty fun. It's easy to use, which is nice. This one is cute, but it's hard to cut. Um, it does tend to take a while. So I just like to look for something that's pretty easy to read, especially for the kids. Um, you know, if they're the ones that are, you know, this is for them. So I like to try to make sure the little ones can read it, um, especially if they're of the age that they can, can read. Um, so I just don't like to use a lot of the curly fonts and stuff like that. I just like to keep it just a little more simple and down to earth so that the children can actually read it see how that one looks that's a pretty cute font all right let's go with this font this is cute so again we want to make sure that we measure and kind of figure out how big we can make this because this is like a dome so it's going to be a little bit testy um, what I do is I always like I showed you at the beginning I use a measuring tape and I'm going to just double check my measurements because I know where I kind of want to lay them and how I want them to lay so I can go about three inches it looks like per word so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to advance and I'm going to ungroup to letters I could have ungrouped to lines had I put them on separate lines but I didn't so if you do that and you don't end up wanting to just ungroup to your lines all you can do is you just select one word and that'll let you resize your word and it was actually pretty darn close to where it should be anyways which makes me think Santa is probably pretty close to so I'm gonna go ahead and I want to do Santa in red and green and I'm gonna do this in white so what I need to do is first we're gonna select the word Santa and we're gonna attach him and we're going to go over here to our layers panel and find where it's all highlighted. Just choose any of the letters and just pick a color. Red will do you. And then we're going to do the same thing with camera. We're going to select the whole word, attach it, and we're going to find where, see how it's selected. We're going to go ahead and select that and we're going to do it in green. And remember I said this is going to be white so we don't really have to change the color. It'll be fine 
Cricut doesn't know if you put a different color than what you put your font as. So that's all we're going to do. Um, we could add a candy cane or something if we want. Um, maybe some snowflakes. But let's go ahead and start with this part and we'll see if we like it and we can always add to it. Um, sometimes I always like to tell you guys less is more with a lot of these things. So make sure you kind of keep that in mind. You don't want to go too crazy and make it too busy. So let's go ahead and cut this out, weed it, and then we can put it on. I weeded everything out, so we've got all our parts, and all I'm doing right now is I'm going to put the property of the North Pole onto my transfer tape. And what I like to do, I'm just using the Dollar Tree stuff um, for this video, and I'll just usually flip it over and peel it this way so that I can get the letters to peel off of the backing. Um, if I struggle a lot, it's a little bit easier this way because you can peel it at a different angle and sometimes that helps. So we're just going to do this. This is um, Oracle brand 651 for the uh, white and the red. The green I used just some junk that I got from Amazon, I think, when I first started doing this. So here's our camera and you can see this part doesn't swivel so you got to make sure you line it up with the part that actually is the camera hopefully you guys can see that without the glare so what I do is I figure out where center is and typically what I'll do is I'll take my decal and I fold it like a taco um, and that just sort of gives me an idea of what letter center is it looks like about the H is going to be center so what I do and I may need to trim this. Sometimes, um, especially if you're going to be having to be real close to a table, you may want to trim your transfer tape off a little bit um, closer to the bottom of your decal. Uh, usually I would like to do that while it was still on the backing, but I didn't think about it, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this without almost killing my decal, but we'll try. So yeah, I just trim it really close to the bottom of the decal, and that was not the easiest thing I've ever done, but it's fine. So remember, I found the H and the to be about the center. So all I'm going to do is just line it up best I can and just gently place it. And all you got to do, it's pretty easy to do, is just press it on there just like that. And then you just take your transfer tape and you just slowly peel it off, making sure that all of your letters have stuck. So there's the bottom part. So we'll move on to camera and it should fit on this piece of transfer tape. I will reuse my transfer tape um, as many times as I can for a design just to get it done. Um, not really for any other purpose. This stuff's a buck so it's not really that bad um, from the Dollar Tree. But we're just gonna go ahead and use all of it. So for this part obviously it's gonna go under the word or under the camera piece itself. Um, so on this one I need to find the middle which is about between the M and the E. Now I'm going to trim this one again because when I put this on it's going to be pretty close to the base again so I'm just going to cut it and get that off of there. A lot of people try to use these big pieces of transfer tape and sometimes that's what's causing your issues, especially lining things up. If your transfer tape is too big, it really does make it very hard to A, see what you're doing and B, maneuver it. So you want to make sure that your transfer tape isn't, you know, crazy big. Um, which this one was a little bit too big on the one side. So we're going to go ahead and ooh, not stick it by accident. And you can use the TH there to use as a center point again if you need to. And then you just kind of slide it on there. Now again, remember, this is for kids, so it's, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, some of it's kind of fun if it's not, because then it looks like Santa actually has a security team. You know, that it's part of the fun of this is, you know, crafting shouldn't be all about perfection. And that's one of the things I hope you guys take away from my channel. So there's camera. And now we'll just do Santa, and I don't know if he's going to fit on this piece of transfer tape. I'm going to need a new piece. He will not fit. That's okay. We'll just cut a new one. No big deal. Um, but that's only one of the things I hope that you guys take away from this channel, is like nobody's perfect, and nobody should be expected to be. I make mistakes, and I make them right on camera, and I don't edit it out, because I don't want you guys to think that, you know, every YouTuber is like great at everything. There are some projects I've done that I have not posted because they have been that awful. But if I make a mistake, I don't edit it out. I will keep it 
and want you guys to see if something happens. So again, the green was like that cheap vinyl and I actually don't hate it too much, but it isn't my favorite. So then we're gonna take the Santa and the N is clearly the center of Santa. Now this one's gonna go towards the top of the thing. And I like to kind of put it so that you can see it from all the angles. Now this, because it is curved, you're going to try to not get any bubbles on your letters. If you get bubbling in your transfer tape, don't worry, but you wanna make sure that all your bubbles are off of your letters. So mine are not on my letters. We're gonna press our letters down. Now this one, these do press down a little bit when you're working on them. I don't know how well you guys can tell that they do that, but they do, so we're gonna be careful about that. So we're gonna just peel our transfer tape off and voila, we have a property of the North Pole Santa Cam. Very easy to do. You can get these cameras on Amazon. Like I said, the link is down below. They're about, I think, $15 for four. But the beauty is you can always make extras and sell them if you wanted to. So there is our property of the North Pole. You guys, you can add things to this if you'd like. You could put, you know, maybe like instructions on the back, whatever you want to do. But this is just showing you guys just the general start of how you can put this together. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I'm always happy to answer those for you. If you're looking for any particular tutorials, please let me know also down in the comments. I love making these for you. I make these tutorials because you guys request them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon and you'll be alerted anytime I do post a new video. And I hope you guys had a really fun time learning how to make this. Have a great day.